આપણે થોડીક જ વાર માં શરૂ કરીએ ટુ મોર મિનિટ વોર્મ અપ કરો ડંજન ટેપિંગ આજે આપણે બેઝિકલી શું કહેવાય લાસ્ટ ટાઈમના જેવી જ એક્સરસાઇઝ કરીશું કારણ કે દેટ ઇઝ મચ ટુ બી લર્ન ફ્રોમ લાસ્ટ ટાઈમ એવરીબડી કેન હિયર મી કેન યુ હિયર મી કેન યુ હિયર મી તમને સંભળાય છે With deep breath in, mouth open, exhale out. Stretch it out, raise it up, deep breath in, exhale out. And shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. For a few minutes, just shake your whole body. and get rid of tiredness or some knots here and there stiffness move your legs and move your body and we are going to check our posture check head neck shoulders relaxed leave the space always between your armpit and the rib cage don't stick hands like this leave the space preferably wear somewhat loose clothes so that you don't have energy blockage if you are wearing wrist watch take it out please and make sure that you keep your feet parallel or 11 o'clock position and your tailbone not like this not like this tucked in tucked in so pack it in so you can retain your energy and let it not go out and this corners of the mouth lifted up to your pinna of ears this and make a fist thumb in little finger side little finger side little finger side two inches below your belly button we are going to address our chakra second chakra Swadhishtha. Ah, relax your shoulders and always check it out. Are you balanced? Of course, you want to be balanced. But at times we are not. So let's check it out. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your count. You can count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. And if your knees are good, keep bouncing. If not good, that's okay if you stand straight. But every time you bounce, what happens? You keep on tapping. What happens when you bounce, your tailbone automatically goes in. So it is 
really retaining your energy because when you count like that and also if possible move your neck side to side so all unnecessary thoughts out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 15 Count three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Excel out. Excel out. Excel out. And now go to the right side of the belly down there and go up. Move it in circle and don't lose your smile. Address small intestines, large intestine, your Swadhisthan chakra, mouth open, tailbone tucked in, shoulders relaxed. Ah, check out every corner of your belly, which has many important organs. Ah, what are those organs? We all know the names, liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas, intestine, stomach, small intestine, large intestines, kidneys, ureters, urinary, bladder is down there, but check it out. And now, what we are going to do, make the triangle, thumbs at your belly button and apex of the triangle with index finger down there, tuck in your tailbone and we are going to do few intestinal exercises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Don't raise, don't, don't do this. This is not up and down like this. This is only back and forth. Front and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15. <sighs> Gently, with great love, healing hands, rub your belly in a clockwise fashion. <sighs> and shake it off. Shake it off. You must feel warm. If you are not feeling warm, means you have to pay more attention to your body and your Swadhisthya. And now, let's start addressing our whole body. We want to warm up. Start tapping over your head. <sighs> Keep tapping all over. Keep tapping. <sighs> Exhale out. Ah, you can make sound. Keep your mouth open. I'm not a dentist. I'm not going to come and check anybody's teeth. Ah. Excellent. If you think you have pain a little bit, stay there a little bit longer. Ah, and turn off your cell phones. Turn off your cell phones. Ah. Back of your head, back of your head. Don't worry about your hairstyle. Now forehead, forehead. Temple, temple region, both sides. Upper cheeks, mouth open, uh, contour of cheeks, near jawline, mouth open, around your eyes, softly, gently. And if you are wearing glasses, please remove and gently 
the bony margins of your orbits keep bouncing keep bouncing your knees if your knees are okay and now coming to your beautiful long gracile neck which we are going to address in short while but gently hi thyroid hi parathyroid hi lymphatic system hello my immune system lovingly make it long and gracile and back part this is very important point where your head and neck meet that is a hollow this hollow every day you address this important acupressure point for few minutes or you can take a ice cube and put it here it has many advantages of putting ice cube small ice cube let it melt doesn't matter you won't be drenched in ice or cold water and now shoulder 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 going down your arm bounce 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 what smile 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 tap 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 going up the arm up the arm up the arm thumbs up thumbs up down the arm down the arm down the arm pinky pinky going up going up 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 ampe very important lots of lymph nodes and lots of stress <sighs> open close fist side side of rib cage Just take off. No more stress. Middle of the chest with fist. You may feel cold sensation in your forearm because of negative energy, cold energy leaving you. Move your neck. Every night you should do this when you go to sleep on your bed. Turn up. Breast move. Ah. 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 Go to opposite side. Turn off your cell phones. Ah. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Going down. Opposite side. Going down. 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 Up. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Going down. Going down. Going. Don't be very gentle to your body. Ah. And plus, you are taking care of it, so it is not like somebody is beating you up or something. So, ampe, 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 and tap, tap, rip kick, rip kick, side, side, rip kick, rip kick. So 
even if mind is not here and if i do like this then also it will won't help but if my mind is with me if i do this also it will have effect so how you take care of your body is with yoga huge to connect connect mind with the body mind is in australia switzerland india or some place else and body is here no matter what i do it has no me so mind body connection is yoga so we are doing that so let's get full benefit now we will do our neck exercises and for that we can stand or sit down whatever you want but we will do in standing today so neck and shoulders so neck is very important because neck pain is very common issue stress related neck pain and it leads to shoulder pain stiffness and this is like rusted hinges and we are all the time spending in front of computer ipad cell phone or tv or something so we are always putting so much stress on our this neck so let's address this neck and take care of this beautiful neck so you can use it for a longer time without wearing a neck collar or like some medicine to get rid of your stiffness so you make your body flexible mind become flexible and vice versa so to make the body flexible you need to make your neck loose and really really like soft the way you want to move it so here shoulders to the back shoulder and neck they are cousins they are connected okay so and one 20 times we'll take it back or 10 times maybe 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you continue doing i just want to show you different different way like you can do you are sitting at your office table or chair then you can do this Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now front. So shoulders pulled back. So what happens? This joint opens up. Anybody comes for shoulder arthrogram with stiff neck, rotator cuff, partial, complete, whatever we want to rule out. So this shoulder. Why don't we open it? So we inject needle by opening it up. So we let us open. We don't want anybody to inject anything. So we become our own healers. Open it up, and you can bring it like we did this. One, two, front and back. Three, four, five. Then one, two, three. Just don't do like this. Oh, one, two. No, full rotation. There is a capsule. So full rotation. Shoulder in complete joint. it's not like a hip joint which is a complete joint that's why shoulder dislocation is very common we have to address this part to make it strong so 20 times so 10 times depending on your time you do shoulders back and front rotate then shoulders up and back so this we do 20 20 times then you you can sit down you can stand up or you can be seated on the ground i just wanted to show you that it is not necessary for you that you can't do this exercise at your desk okay so then neck rotations do not feel dizzy just rotate your neck remember when you rotate what you are going to do <sighs> exhale out pick up your breath inhale going up and stretch to your max and while going down ha out so no more stiffness go at your own pace shoulders down finger in the ground all the fingers in the ground you may hear crunchy munchy sound milk pouring on cereal doesn't matter we don't want to 
and don't close your eyes if you are dizzy doing this go at your own pace listen to your body but certainly you want to address your neck you can do it as many times like 5 10 7 depending on your time all right now catch a breath and chat ah feels better great then opposite i hear some crunchy sound i don't know about you so feel good that we have good hearing <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 fingers in the ground shoulders down feel so good wow excella great job then take your left hand over your head and right hand on this side opposite side and you are going to open up the side you pull the side and resist the head your palm against your head head is palm is trying to put the press the head down and you resist and this hand so you are lengthening side of your neck you can do this in seated also you continue doing i will show you on chair so you can do that when you are on chair or in front of your tv on the ground and hopefully all of you have removed your beautiful expensive family room tables like this so what you do resist resist but by doing that you will realize you are if you do just like this check it out you are not putting that much of uh, um, what you call pull on your side neck muscle but when you do this already there is more muscles being used for the side of the neck so like this resist head wants to come up and hand says no no and stay there stay there or you can do this and check it out you will feel some muscle here it is not this your head is not there it is side back 5 6 7 8 nine, 10 great job and opposite side see you just do like this there is no pull 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Now, neck. What we are going to do? This neck side. We'll take it here, and this chin, chin, is going to. go towards the ceiling in side position catch a breath while coming down only chin it is not like mood this head going like this no side and chin to the ceiling chin to the ground chin to the ceiling chin to the ground chin to the ceiling chin to the ground and then you can do in this posture up and down you are really making your side muscles of the neck very strong great job and now check it out which side feels better oh. or loser so do that on opposite side so now chin this chin looking at the ceiling looking at the ground ceiling ground ceiling ground and then fast fast great job come back all these exercises could be done anywhere on the ground on the chair in your office or 
wherever you are flying some place or sitting in front of tv and then what will we do we are going to take care of our thyroid gland so if you guys want you can have a sit if you don't want you can stand but i will show it to you thyroid gland what we are going to do is before that i will show one more exercise for the neck all the time what we are doing like for small print i need to wear my glasses so what i do i stick out my neck like this so this is no good because we are damaging our neck so let us make our neck tech neck ostrich neck see this this is what we do when we can't see what or can't hear what tech neck and you will feel pull in your paraspinal muscles by doing that check it out this is such a good exercise because we are doing all the time what like this and if you can't see small print what so this is like out in out in your side muscles are very strong now taking care of your thyroid very important gland it sits right in this region it has butterfly shape and it is fifth chakra which is very important because most of the people they have blockages here and if you want to address your spirituality besides physical wellness address this chakra because this chakra is blocked travel upper journey higher journey no no it will never happen because this thyroid gland is butterfly what do butterflies do fly i am most sit like a dead butterfly so we need to make it healthy and why it becomes unhealthy because emotionally we are holding it back i should do this i have to behave like this i have to serve him i have to be good to everybody and in that whole life we forget to address our own self and by then it is too late so take care of this and remove all the inhibitions fly and you achieve what you want so this butterfly it secretes two important hormones t3 t4 it is queen of the glands king is here pituitary gland right there queen queen of the gland and you really really take care of it by this thumb japanese method there is acupressure points suzok technique here this is the part of neck hold your thumb like this not loosely or not too tight and one minute one minute just one minute till it feels warm and your shoulders relax you can do anywhere it doesn't matter you don't need a special time to do this you can be just moving around the house or doing some chores or anything driving car and you are at red light just am it takes few minutes to do this thyroid exercise so do this on one side one minute opposite side hold it relax massage love it oh i love my thyroid just give some positive affirmative messages to your thyroid it secretes t3 t4 hormones which are controlling our entire body hair skin well being mood how we feel good and everything it is controlled by this queen and if it becomes less it is called hypo h y p o hypothyroidism people get this and if it is active very high it is called hyper and people become thin and they always feel very hot and they are very excited people but they really cannot control so both of these conditions need to be addressed so people of course it is related to fluoride in our or an iodine in our food which is toothpaste are providing when i went to nepal my goodness 
Nepal, in water they don't have fluoride. I saw almost everybody with goiter, neck masses, everybody, 99% had thyroid problem because afternoon I used to have medical clinics. Uh, so take care of your thyroid and still if it is little problem, of course there are medicine, so don't worry. So second exercise, massage. Lovingly, what? Make a grip. Like your thumb and these fingers, hold it. Hold it. Stretch on it. Don't do like, no. Stretch fully. Wow. Go around your windpipe. Three, four, five, six. Don't forget to smile. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, twenty. Great job! And last but not the least is take your neck all the way up and to the back and bring it down. Chin. Squeeze. It is like open close thyroid. Open close. Open close. So like that. Do it 20 times. Do it wholeheartedly. Not like one, two, three, four. No. That is not going to help you. Here lovingly you open up entire thyroid. It increases blood circulation. It also increases the space in the thyroid gland cells. So it will secrete what it needs to. Stretch it out. By doing massage, we increase blood circulation. By doing this open and close, we are giving thyroid cells to open up and enjoy this moments by releasing your TSH which is stimulating gland so you have T3, T4 in optimal level. Thyroid is a superficial gland and we can easily address. Great job! These are basic exercises. There are many more but this is a simple thing. You can do it anywhere. Do it morning and do it evening two times no three five seven times no it will probably harm so do not do it two times more than enough how many times this you can do two times am pm whenever you find two times and also you should do this 20 times and this up and down 20 times and this is one one minute that summarizes thyroid and i hope all of you practice it now we are going to do today fall prevention. How we can do? So get it, grab, grab a chair. So we are going to fall prevention, aging process. Also, some people have like some uh, clutter in the house, or if there are little children playing around, they might have put a small uh, toy, and uh, as aging, we sometimes don't see it or it blends with the carpet or the floor color and we fall and also my friend, very close friend, she went to grocery store and she did not see there was a small puddle of water and she slipped and she had pelvic fracture. It took her three to six months to recover. It was hairline fracture of her pubic bones. So important thing, we are no matter where we go, if we know these techniques, why we have to learn this ex so that these exercises will help us to make our bones and muscles very strong. So when you, in case also if you sustain a fall, it is not going to be like a serious problem. Okay. So here, what we need to do, grab a chair and we are going to be on our energy points which are in front of front foot. So one, two, three. Go on your front feet. Go on your front feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
this is with the chair you can do this 20 times but i have to watch the time limit so i'm doing 10 times now do it without do it without holding the chair so if you are feeling imbalance or something is wrong with your knees or something keep this otherwise you can do it without so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great job you can do this when you are making cup of tea or you can do this when you are like simply standing and talking to someone in near kitchen counter so you can do these exercises which are like really helpful now we did this so second exercise what this you can do what i showed you in your shower also because there is a bar most of the uh, showers have that in the top there is a bar you can hang on to it if it is not a loose bar but don't put all your weight there but be gently holding and then do that this exercises will make your this calf muscles also very strong and i talked about it that these are your second, second heart. heart so that also is address now third thing we never address our heel till there are major heel cracks or like we want to wear some high heel and okay this foot doesn't look good because it has cracked no this is this is what you do like we went on our toes go on your heels so either you can do with chair up like seesaw how you go and play seesaw like that this will prevent or help your ankle stiffness this is the important exercise lot of people get this stiffness of tendo achilles muscle this muscle tendo achilles so you can loosen up that tightness okay by seesawing and you can do this with chair or without chair so with chair without chair now marching with chair grab it and march one two three four five of course certainly pick up your feet just don't do this pick up your feet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten smile shoulders down one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty now we will do it without holding one two three four five you can in your house you can do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four like that twenty times ten times <sighs> So without holding also and with holding the chair. Then what we are going to do? Like feet off the ground but we will have one, two, higher, three, four. We never address our hips because we have fear of oh God will fall down. Grab it. One, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten. What it will do? It will open up your groin, and this hips and groin are cousins of this intestine and shoulders. One gets stiff, other is likely to get stiff, and then, of course, sympathetic stiffness in intestine. So address firmly your this regions. which we generally don't so take care of that and then we are going to do leg raise gently one we did like very high now one two three you are holding chair so don't worry you are not going to fall like one two don't do like this it is not a spine exercise okay so stand straight only from your hips 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 shake it off shake it off shake it off 
and now we don't want to hold the chair right so we can do one see immediately see the range of movement i was here now look so you get used to be doing this with chair that will make you strong and then your confidence will go up and with that confidence if you are here one day without holding you will be same one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's just like babies when they start walking we give them walker or support system like that this is support system for us and we make ourselves strong and then we can start doing it without any gadgets supporting gadgets or proper gadgets so here we did like this side to side with and without chair and now what we are going to do front and back front and back so stand on one side one two one two one two you can feel your butt one two one two swing it front back front back front back front back front back front back ah <sighs> excellent why and see your toes if they were flexed sometime for fun you can point it up like try to use the different parts of your body and you will see how much fun you have with your own body excel up you can do this 10 times this is holding the chair now okay don't want to hold the chair so fine keep it next to you so that you don't feel scared simply do this but make sure you there is nothing there in the back where you put your leg and get hurt okay one two three four five six ah seven eight nine ten no pain no gain so don't be too kind to yourself now opposite we address one now either you can do with flex toes or pointed toes four five six seven eight nine ten who and now without holding without holding you can be near the chair if you want one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job! But when you do this, focus in front on some object. Don't do this going here and there and looking up. Then you will certainly fall down. So it's a focused front and back because we need to put our gaze at one spot. If you do this, you will be really wobbly, and you may fall while learning how to prevent fall. We don't know that, so <laughs> we are going to have this. Look at something. Fix your gaze at one point. Doesn't matter what. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and you will see when your swadhisthan chakra is strong you can do all of this without this no matter you are 90 years old then also you will be able to do so make this very strong your swadhisthan swaka adhisthan balancing chakra very very important chakra pichoti khasi gayi in gujarati we say that so since we are talking about that before i go to other fall prevention exercise every morning look try to put your this palms together and see if a, your middle finger if middle finger if they are aligned 
if they are not aligned here this line in your palm this you do this both the lines upper lines and see even now i am not aligned look look my left hand middle finger is going outside of the margin of right hand middle finger so what you do short short hand middle finger or do this three times and look i aligned the top line of my palms look at that right there both became same height see how much imbalance i was every morning check this this two upper lines put it together and look at the middle finger so every day we get imbalance every day pichotti bring it back by the length of the middle finger which is shorter by keeping this that shorter side three times one two three and then wow wow simple thank you <laughs> you are welcome <laughs> and now we are going to do it is one leg standing which is very important but one need to be very careful also so we will go near the wall okay it's a one leg standing so go near the wall go near the wall and arms length arms length one leg pick up one foot off the ground you have wall to support so if you fall you are right here you cannot fall anywhere else stand like this you can you have a time clock at your home stopwatch or something start with 30 seconds 10 seconds or whatever one leg stand exhale out shoulders relax smile one leg stand one leg stand then opposite opposite still you are so near the wall so don't worry now what will we do put both legs down we have little confidence so check your area and what we are going to do one leg pick up and arms on the side one leg stand mouth open shoulders relax smile on face exhale out swadishtan chakra focus on your swadishtana put it down now opposite one leg stand focus on your swadishtha slowly you can do it 30 seconds for each now on palms on your wrist and one leg stand pick up you can be near the wall so you be near the wall i'm just going to show you here one leg stand elbow in focus on swadishtha fix your gaze mouth open shoulders relaxed very strong wow so balanced beautiful wow self confidence wow gently down wow you did great job now opposite you don't want to neglect one side so opposite tailbone in and you are near the wall swadishtana fix your gaze and you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 somebody told count in our classes somebody said 1 to 30 130 no 1 2 3 4 5 6 
can do it. That one. Now. 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You can do it. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Great job. Great job. And now comes the difficult part. But I'm sure one day you will do it. And call me up. All these four which I showed, do it with eyes closed. <laughs> which we won't, we won't do it now. <laughs> with eyes closed. But keep your um, family member next to you. Or keep some supportive device. Because when you do this with eyes closed near the wall, you might feel okay. But when you do this side stretch with eyes closed, you may start wobbling. So, but that is challenging. If you do not challenge, you won't grow. Aren't we facing so many challenges in today's world? So challenge yourself. And be really coming out of these challenges as happy soldier. <laughs> and the Yes, victorious. I have a problem with the right leg. Pardon? I have a problem with the right leg. I cannot stand on my right leg for a long time. Is that right? When I do it like this, it just doesn't stay. It will stay once you practice. Lot of things we can't do with our body because uh, mindset is here if there is no injury. So, gentle, but listen to your body, gently address it and overcome those obstacles. Don't try doing everything at first time, then it will be, and don't even compare, don't compare yourself with anyone. Now, I haven't purchased that soft uh, uh, pillow in this pandemic or whatever, so uh, that is called a uh, balancing ball, I haven't, so soft pillow is here. So, all these exercises which we did, marching, walking, side to side, raising, everything you can do on soft pillow. So, you will see how imbalanced and how you are trying to balance yourself. And we want to learn balancing. And when you purchase that pillow will be a round shape. And it is filled with soft jelly or soft something. So, you are like, okay, okay, I don't want to fall. But that makes your nervous system very strong and you have self-confidence. So even if you are like this on any area where you may think you might fall down, you will immediately like, okay, no. So soft pillow, practice this. You don't need to buy anything. First practice and everybody has all the soft pillow. You don't have to go and buy a soft pillow. <laughs> and just walk. By walking on snow. Yep. Walk, walk, walk. And you can even do a uh, stationary walk. And make that pillow softer. And then give it to guest men. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Soft pillow. And now tandem walk. So tandem walk is walking on straight line. So four feet distance any place you will have in your house. Uh, this weather, of course, Florida guys are lucky they can walk in backyard, frontier. Uh, so, like this. Straight line. Of course, we did not drink any alcohol, but try to be tandem walk. And you will see how imbalanced we are. You can wear shoes and do it. Tandem walk. This will create concentration. This will help you for meditation. This will focus you. It's like a, uh, uh, like we see those guys walking on the rope, how balanced they are, how Gymnastics. focused they are. And they don't fall. The people are cheering them up and then shouting and getting ha ho. But they are like balance, balance, balance. You can do it. I can do it. So like that you do 10 times. Four feet distance, and you will have so much of your Swadhisthana strength and confidence. 
and then you will really help your muscles to be strong and then you can participate in catwalk when you participate in beauty contest <laughs> <laughs> we will hold the contest at the end of the year who walks the best <laughs> old people beauty contest <laughs> okay. so tandem walk okay now that you can do with open eyes please don't close eyes and tandem walk don't do on the roads <laughs> do it only in your house and and now side walk side walk five steps to the right five steps to the left and you can do it 40 50 times so if you start like this four feet distance 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 Give little more chat, so your glutes move. Ah, one, two. Open and close your fist. Smile. Wow. One, two, three, four. Ah, one, two, three. Ah, one, two, three, four. Great job. You can do forty, fifty, sixty times. There is no harm, and you are already done with your walk of the day. It's like no big plannings are needed for the day. Okay, I have to do this side walk. We don't think about snacking when we go to kitchen, right? Like that. <laughs> and now front and back walk. That also don't do it on the road. So your hands do it only in the house. Front and make sure nothing is in the back. Front and back, fast or slow, happy and go, and make your own uh, gibberish talk. Ah, our our great master always says every day talk gibberish fifteen minutes. It will keep your brain healthy. When we talk, 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 We don't have to be very sophisticated and all the hi, hello. No, they don't talk. 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 Just, just say something which has no meaning. Of course, our family members will think that what we talk has no meaning at all. But that's not the way. Yeah. You can prove them right. So don't even do this in front of family members. We may approve it. I do with my grandkids, whom oh, I really miss this days. So this is front and back. And now, what we are going to do? This legs are separate. Separate them a little bit, okay? Legs separate, not too much. Otherwise, I'll make you do other exercises which you wouldn't want to do it right now. So, reach out. This is palms down, and you are going to cover, extend your elbows, and butt to the back, knees straight, elbows straight. One, two, hamstring pull. Three, four, straight knees, straight elbows. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great job. <sighs> Now, opposite. Shoulders relax. Smile on face. One, hips to the back, and knees straight, and feel the hamstring pull. Two. Three, four. Keep going. One, two, and don't do half-heartedly. If you are capable of going all the way to the ground, please do so. If not, don't worry. Don't feel bad. Don't compare. If you are here, perfectly fine. Okay. One, two, three. But challenge. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
So see what is happening, keep doing. You are churning your entire belly, organs, your blood vessels, your lymphatic system and you did in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. You moved your hips, hamstrings, your joints, your shoulders, your smile, everything. And you can do this 40 times in each direction and shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. We have just few minutes left. Everybody, have a... Please sit down. Time flies when we have fun. And I hope you are having fun. No answer means what? <laughs> no answer means what? Huh? No, it is fun. <laughs> oh, when the class will be over, she is too much. Now, gently sit. <sighs> you all did great job. Now, you can sit like this. Spine straight. Relax shoulders. Exhale <sighs> out. And move your torso. Three times in one direction. Going up. Ha. Ah. Going up in. After three times, opposite direction, waistline, belly, spine, three times. And now, two times, neck in each direction. When you shrink, exhale, deflate like a balloon. When you go up, inflate. But our ego should not be inflated, mind you. And now, rub your hands. Rub, 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 rub. And take these hands gently in front of your belly. Excellent. Shoulders down. Close your eyes. Try to open and close without touching your palms. Put your energy ball in the middle of your palms. With each inhalation, make your ball bigger. With each exhalation, smaller. soft music if you want to do this is a meditation which is mindfulness activity right now you are concentrating on your energy ball which may be golden color silver color making it bigger brighter so where is your mind in your energy ball so already you disconnected from the world Meditation is nothing other than focusing on yourself, your true self. And once you get hang of it, you will really not want to open your eyes for half an hour. Take this energy ball and take it over your head and put it in your seventh chakra and six in front of your forehead, fifth your butterfly, then your heart, fourth chakra, then your solar plexus chakra. And with happy face, with gratitude, with thank you and gratitude to the cosmos and energy, put your own energy ball, whichever, whichever color, in your Swadhista. around you.
your Swadhisthva. I love, I love, I love you. I'll take care of you. I will take care of you. I'll take care of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A gentle open your eyes. And repeat follow. And once again, massage your beautiful face. Body, torso, kidney, and tap down and hold and ten times. One. Don't worry, you don't need to bring this to this. That's not the aim. Just from your spine. Make your spine elongated. Make your spine elongated so that your vertebrae, intervertebral spaces, they are wider so you don't get discompression or herniated disc. Make it wider. It's not the aim is not here. The top touch it. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stay there. Exhale out. Go shoulders down. Go one inch further down. One centimeter down, down, down. Don't make the knee go up. That's not the way to go down. And press here. You are in neighborhood of your energy point. Neighborhood. Hi, how are you? And one, two. Pull. Entire knee, if possible. So keep doing this. This is for longevity. Why? We are stretching kidney meridians, bladder meridians. So that what happens? Water energy from kidneys go up. So head is cool. So prevention of stroke and from hot head and hot heart energy flows down and where it is needed. Jatagni. Swaha. How many times we did swaha today? <laughs> so that needs fire. This does not need fire. This creates relationship problems. So bring Water energy up, fire energy down and up. So when you have this type of principles and practice and the focus, why you are doing, what you are doing, what is the aim of doing all this, you will be happier, healthier and you will really, really, really benefit by doing yogic practices. It will make you go further in your spiritual practice as well. Because it's mind-body connection. Mind and body are connected only with the help of spirit. If spirit is gone, then this has no value. So, love yourself. And say, ah, shake it, shake it. I love myself. Wow. Then, opposite self. Ah, I love myself. And third time, I love all of you. Great job. Thank you. And Great. we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great evening. And God for the catch up. We'll so end the class here. And we'll bow down at the feet of Acharishri and my yogi guru. And thank you to all of you. And we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good morning. Whatever. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.